If you have a problem with hitting super high attackable drops, or if your third shot drops are consistently hitting the net, we're going to talk about the number one preferred third shot drop that all the pros use. Why do they use it? Well, it's absolutely the most offensive drop that you can hit. We're going to talk about exactly how to hit it. Now, let's jump right in. So why topspin? Typically, you're gonna find higher level players using topspin to be a little bit more aggressive with their shots. Because once you hit the ball with topspin, that ball doesn't just bounce and bounce up, but it usually bounces out and goes outwards towards your opponent's body, which forces them to either back up or be less aggressive with your shot. So topspin is great. First things first is you have to make sure with the third shot drop with topspin is that you have space to make your shot. Once you set everything up, you should have this space in between your body and your paddle for where you're making your contact. Now, how do I get this space? I need to make sure that I set my body up and my feet up properly. So my shuffle steps, my quick adjustments to get myself the space that I need is super important to make sure I can now brush up on this ball. Typically, we get jammed on our third shots and if we're trying to even attempt topspin and we're jammed, it's not going to be very successful. So this space here is going to be set up by my feet. And once I have this space, I'm gonna wait for this ball to bounce into its apex. Now the apex is a ball that bounces and it rises up. And as it's about to fall, that ball is going to fall kind of right at my knee to thigh area. And I should be making contact with the ball that's dropping right onto my paddle. So I can now start my brushing movement. All right, so now I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper on the contact point. Just like Caden said, we're waiting for the apex, trying to catch the ball or contact point a little bit higher. This allows us for a higher contact and it allows us to actually generate easier topspin. But as for contact point, yes, we want it out in front just like this. So you can see in this side view, this is out in front, this is great contact. Now, what I do wanna mention in this camera, which you can see hopefully, is I want my contact right here out in front of my hips, okay? A lot of times I see players hitting their third shot drop or trying this topspin drop, and they're actually over here. And this is not out in front of me because you're gonna be reaching and now you're gonna have to use a lot of wrist and things like that. To keep things very, very consistent, that's why those also, those adjustment steps are really necessary and important we're going to make sure that we also have it in front from here, but from this camera, we're gonna to try to get that in front here, in front of our hips and not to the side. All right, this next tip is a quick and simple tip, and that is our grip pressure. Now, because I'm hitting a softer, more controlled shot, I also need to recognize that my grip pressure needs to be a little bit lighter. Now, a lighter grip pressure will allow you to feel the ball a little bit more, which means maybe a little bit less pop-ups. So on a scale of 10, I like to have my grip pressure at about a three. I've also uh, used the terminology that you can take your ring finger and your thumb and wrap these fingers onto your grip and then just let the others kind of wrap around your grip. Um, you could also say you should be holding a baby bird. So don't strangle that bird, but also don't let it go. So a nice loose grip, keeping it nice and smooth so you can feel that ball a little bit more, which means a little bit more control for you guys. All right, so now let's hop right into the technique, which is probably the most important. Again, if we're trying to hit topspin, the way we create that is swinging up on the ball. If you could get one thing from this video, if you're gonna try this and go out there, your swing path has to come up. Now, a couple key other elements is your backswing, and then also how you hold your paddle 
and in your hand, okay? So for your backswing, we wanna keep it fairly short. I see players trying to go out there and hit their topspin drops, but they're taking their paddle back like a ground stroke. Remember, we're hitting this ball really soft and trying to get some arc over the net. So well, I just want you starting maybe here, anywhere from here to here is good, right? Because we don't need to hit it really hard. So starting your backswing, keeping it short is gonna really help. Now we're gonna talk about the position, the laid back wrist position that you're going to have to be in when you're hitting your forehand topspin drops. This is the good position and you can see from this camera here that my paddle head is face towards the ground. This is really important because we're going to be lifting from here, lifting from our shoulder. So how do we get in this position? I see lots of players struggling to get in this position to see what it feels like. And I would say, if you just hold your paddle here and totally just relax everything, just relax your wrist. Like I'm, I'm holding like a one right now. You'll see that your paddle will naturally drop. This is the position that we wanna be in because we're going to be now swinging up from here, okay? And then lastly is going to be uh, your swing speed, right? Obviously, this is not a very, very fast shot. We're actually hitting this shot with a slow to medium swing. So drop that tip down, paddle head down, and then have a short backswing. Make sure that you're swinging low to high. Okay, here we go. Okay, our final tip is our target. All right, where do I hit this third shot drop? Well, you guys know some of the answers, but let's go a little bit deeper into it, right? So we know I'm aiming for my opponent's feet, maybe uh, aiming for the, the non-volley line, uh, but I also want you to keep in mind that we are gonna look to also aim for maybe weaker sides of our opponents. So whether it's their forehand or their backhand, maybe we're looking to force a, a red ball um, where they have to half volley it and, and kind of pop it up. But one thing we're not doing is we are not going to be aiming for the sidelines, but mostly for the middle and to our opponent's feet. Okay, we are trying to force an upward motion out of our opponents, and if we can hit this ball with topspin, that also pushes them off of the kitchen line and gets them a little bit out of position. So always make sure you guys have a target when you're hitting your third shot drop with topspin, and I promise you guys, you will find some success and maybe a little bit easier of passage to get to the kitchen line. All right, last thing, don't click off now. I wanna show you what it feels like to receive a topspin drop. It's a lot more aggressive than a slice or more of a lift or just flat drop. This ball is coming in and it's dipping down significantly through the air and it's diving at my feet. So a little bit of topspin goes a long way. Hopefully, I'm gonna show you in this camera here what it feels like to receive these balls. Remember, Caden is aiming towards my feet, trying to get that dipping down. Even if I'm hitting a volley, it's still really, really low, and, or it's gonna be forcing me into a half volley or short hop. Oh, you weren't expecting that, were you? Thanks so much for watching everybody. We really do appreciate all the support that you guys give us. If you guys are interested in more awesome videos, make sure to click this video right above my forehead uh, and you guys can continue to be better pickleball players. All right, love you guys. Stay tuned for more.